Okay, hello everyone, I'm Nerve Gorilla. It is September 23rd, 2024, and this video is for anybody who has installed Azeroth Core using my guide, World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King. So there's been kind of an important news update here, and here's a screenshot of it. September 13th, 2024, the Azeroth Core team announced that you know, soon we'll be discontinuing support for MariaDB, which is what we use, and MySQL versions 5.7 and 8.1 on September 19, 2024, which it's already passed, to ensure a smooth experience, blah, 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 update your systems to compatible versions at your earliest convenience. Now, I've never done this before, you know, just as with my Azeroth Core guide, um, I had to figure it out myself. And so same thing with this, I had to figure out how to convert my MariaDB server, my database, into the latest MySQL, which is what Azeroth Core now supports, 8.4. So we're gonna have to do that. So um, you should check what version you have. Actually, you probably have MariaDB if you followed my guide. And if you did, this is really important because otherwise you're gonna have a lot of trouble pretty soon trying to update your server or compile it or anything because it won't do it. I've done several tests today for the last couple hours since I got home from work and I finally got it after a couple hours and I figured it out and I made a text guide which I will be linking after this video is done. We're going to try to do this in one take here. And um, so I made this guide, I have all the instructions and everything and I wrote it all out and we're going to do it right now live. So you can follow along again, same with my original Azeroth core guide. This is going to be mandatory and you should do this. So let's open up my server now. And, uh, you know, it's it's relatively easy. It's not, you should, now just, if you're thinking any questions here, you should not lose any characters. You should not lose any of your player bots, anything like that. It should be a smooth transition, which is what I just did in several, uh, you know, a couple hours of testing here. So let me log in using Putty, of course. And the first thing I'm going to do is just check my, my SQL version with this command, my SQL hyphen V, and I'll zoom in. And as you can see, it is in fact MariaDB, which is probably what you have. Now that's fine. We're going to convert that all over without losing anything. Now that's important to me. I would never try to do this and lose my characters and start over. That would suck. So that's unacceptable to me. You have to be able to save your characters. So anyway, let's make this as painless as possible. First thing we're going to do is export our current database. So we have a backup of it. Now, we want to make sure we're in the right folder. So I'm just going to type CD here. And this is where I am. I'm in the root folder. Yours might be different. Hopefully it's not. But we're just going to put it in the root folder. And you do that by typing CD. Okay, we're in root. So let's uh, do a backup. This is called a MySQL dump uh, of the Acor auth database. And I'm just going to paste that command. All right, it just dumped it. Now let's do the characters database, dumping it. Now let's do the player bots database. Now you notice that I did include the Acor world and I made a note here about that. We don't really want to back it up. That's a huge database file. We don't need to back that up unless you actually made changes to like the, the monster health or you made custom items or something like that. We're not going to make a backup of the Acor world database. So we're only backing up these three databases. Let's do that. It's done. Um, Okay, now if you want to make sure that you have all these files, you can type ls hyphen la and make sure that you have the files right here. Here they are, acor auth sql, characters sql, and that. And there's the file size, so they're nice and big. And now we have the backups of our three databases. That's all we need. Done. Easy. All right, I'm going to skip this app update. We don't need to update yet. Actually, I'm going to delete this. All right, so I'm, we're going to type stop just to make, so, make sure our server stopped. And then we're going to type the word update. Now that's going to update um, the player bots mod and then Azeroth core, right? If you've never done that before, you're going to get a lot of updates here. But I've been updating mine and, and you should be too. Now it's doing some updates right now and some things are changing. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen. I'm just going to type the word sudo and you'll see a weird problem I have. I don't know if you have this problem, but it says unable to resolve host blah, blah, blah. Well, I can fix that. I fix that with this next line. This is not mandatory, but um, it worked for me. So now I'm going to type sudo again, and you'll see I don't have that error anymore. It's just, that's a weird, has nothing to do with the backup or database or anything, but I just, I had an issue with sudo today, and I just want to make sure. 
Um, oh, so uh, next thing we're going to do this apt purge Maria DB with asterisks there hyphen Y. And that's going to get rid of all the Maria DB database stuff. And this screen will pop up asking if you want to remove all Maria DB databases. T go to yes. If you say no, it's going to be all messed up. I've been try I tried it for the last two hours. Trust me. If you keep the database here, it's going to have lots of trouble. So that's why we backed it up. Now, when we hit red, yes to delete all the databases, you're going to have a clean install of MySQL and all that stuff. Okay, now let's go back to the main directory here with this command. And let's do this. Now, this is the main key, the installed um, dependencies. This is what's going to automatically install all the correct MySQL 8.4 things for you. So I'm going to type that in now. It's going to finish. This is directly from Azeroth Core themselves with that install um, dependencies script. That's what it's doing. I ran through this multiple times and this is what got it for me. So that's why I'm passing this information along to you. You can use my text file again as usual. Make sure to check the text file because it could be updated. Now I'm going to do this auto remove and auto clean stuff. It's just going to clean up crap I don't need anymore. All right, now that we have MySQL installed, let's go to the uh, the config file. We have to add this, otherwise we're not gonna be able to connect from our uh, Heidi SQL and things. I mean, I could try right now before we do this, just to show you. See, I can't connect. All right, so let's go down to the very bottom and right at the bottom underneath log error, we're gonna copy these two lines, bind address and then the other bind address and we're going to paste those here control o enter control x now we're going to restart the mysql here now i should be able to connect when it's done with heidi sql okay okay never mind i guess we're not ready to connect yet let's uh continue on um, we're going to just type CD. All right. And we're going to log in MySQL root. Now, remember, we're in MySQL now. we got to create these four databases. Whether you backed up your A core world or not, we're going to have to create a database for it. So um, actually, let's copy all four lines. Let's do it easy. All four. All right. There. That's done. Okay. Now we're going to import. Here's the import. We're going to type this line. Use A core auth. All right, change database. Now we're going to source AQ. There we go. It just imported that. Now we're going to change the ACOR characters. It's going to import our backup of our ACOR characters. There they come. Characters are coming in. All right, ACOR player bots. Now you don't have to do player bots either. Either You can create all new bots if you want. You don't have to back up and you don't have to import the player bots. But we did player bots, so what the hell. But that is one you can skip. The ones you can't skip are the first two. Those are your actual human characters. So the first two databases are absolutely necessary if you want to back up your database. Okay, now we imported the player bots. Now let's copy the rest of the lines here. We're going to create the, the database user. So let's copy all these lines from exit to the drop user thing. All right, and hit enter. All right, that should be it. Now we have to compile. Now that all that database stuff is done, we're gonna actually compile. So let's change directory back to that, that one there. And then we're gonna do the uh, script here, compiler all. And it's gonna start and it should finish. And we will come back when this is done. Okay, we are done compiling. Let's make sure that we're recording here. Okay, now we're just gonna type the word start. Actually, let me clear the screen. I'm gonna type start, it should start my server and then type wow. And you should see that it's actually now, same as, uh, as a fresh install, it's actually um, uh, populating the Acore World database. Okay. Bots logged in. It should be connectable now. Let's try to hop in. I'm in. Let's see. My bots, there they are. I didn't lose anything. I still have the items I had. All right, I'm gonna log out. Let me try one more time because I saw the server was red. It shouldn't be, okay, nope. It was just I tried to load it in too fast. Okay, let's um, just type this Maria 
or this MySQL uh, hyphen V. And as you can see, I have MySQL 8.4.2. And we still have our original files. So if you type CD and type LS again, you'll see that you'll still have your, uh, your backups from before. Those are full database backups. You can do those anytime you want. And you can delete them right now if you want to, now that you've imported them. There's no real need to keep these around unless you want to keep a backup. So that's how you do that. Okay, one final note before I go here. If you want to get Heidi SQL access back, you're going to have to do this bottom part here. Log in and then do this create user. Make sure to set the, uh, the password. Same as my, my Acor guide. This exact part is already in my original guide where you want to make your own uh, login and password here. So you'd paste all this in with your right password or whatever. And then you should be able to, after you do that, you do the restart service. And then let's try it. Yep, we're back in. So you should be able to see all your uh, your database stuff again. But you have to make that account. For some reason, it doesn't transfer over during the uh, during the database backup. So there you go. That's how you do it. Good luck.